Hello everyone, I'm the Adventure Chew, and the time has come at last to play a game that's been a long time coming. Right, we are playing Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green! My apologies for the wait, but it, life's just crazy sometimes. I didn't have the proper equipment yet and all that, but we can finally get started. Various buttons will be explained in the order of their importance. D-pad moves the main character, also used to choose various data headings. The A button is used to confirm a choice, check things, chat, and scroll text. B is used to exit, cancel a choice, and cancel a mode. Start, pause it opens the menu. Select is used to shift items and use the register item. If you need help, of playing the game or on how to do things, press L or R. This feature is only in Fire Red and Leaf Green. In the world which you are about to enter, you will embark on a grand adventure with you as the hero. Speak to people and check things wherever you go, be it towns, roads, or caves. Gather information and hints from every source. New paths will open to you by helping people in need, overcoming challenges, and solving mysteries. At times you'll be challenged by others and be attacked by wild creatures. Be brave and keep pushing on. Through your adventure, we hope that you'll interact with all sorts of people and achieve personal growth. That's your biggest object objective. Press A and let your adventure begin. Hello there! Glad to meet you! Welcome to the world of Pokémon! My name is Oak. People affectionately refer to me as the Pokémon Professor. This world is inhabited far and wide by creatures called Pokémon. Some people use Pokémon are pets. Others use them for battle. As for myself, I study Pokemon as a profession. But first, tell me a little bit about yourself. Now tell me, boy or girl? Boy, let's begin with your name. What is it? E O N N I E. Right, so your name's Donnie? Yep, I am. This is my grandson. He's been your rival since you were a baby. What was his name again? <laughs> what? You don't remember your own grandson's name? How long have you been away from him? Oh, whatever. His name is Gary. Was it Gary? Yes. That's right, I remember now. His name is Gary. Donnie. Your very own Pokemon legend is about to unfold! A world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits! Let's go! Ah, nothing like another day of playing the NES. But now, now it's finally time. Now, I can... I finally have my trainer card. All of its beautiful glory. I'll journey to gain the wisdom of Pokemon Trainer. And I hereby declare to the Pokemon of the world, I will be the Pokemon Master. Yes! A Pokemon Master! That's what I'll be! Now, let's see. 
I need to make sure I have everything. I'm pretty sure I have... Perfect! A potion! I was saving this for... for when I would start my adventure. Now, let me adjust a few things here. Stereo. Ah! Red borders! Perfect! And... Let me get my special guidebook. Yes, I'll be using this to guide my way through all of Kanto. And now... No? Let's head downstairs, and I'll eventually head outside. There's a post-it notice. If you're confused, ask for help. Okay, let's do that right now. Greetings, this is the help system. Call me up whenever you need by pressing mm, the L or R button. The help messages change to suit the situation, so check them off. Alright. Right, all boys leave home someday. It says on TV. Oh yes, Professor Oak next door was looking for you. Alright then. Let's go say hi to him, why don't we? What, it's only Donnie? Gramps isn't around. Why not? Hmm. Weird. Ah, guess it doesn't matter. Now, it's time for me to meet... Hey, wait! Don't go out! What the... Oak? It's unsafe. Wild Pokemon live in the tall grass. You need your own Pokemon for your own protection. No. Here, come with me. I'm getting a Pokemon. It's so amazing. Gramps, I'm fed up with waiting. Gary, let me think. Oh, that's right, I told you to come. Just wait. Here, Danny, there are three Pokemon here. <laughs> these Pokemon are held inside these Pokeballs. When I was young, I was a serious Pokemon trainer. Now on my old age, I only have these three left. You can have one. Go on, choose. Hey, Gramps, no fair. What about me? Be patient, Gary. You can have one, too. Jeez, as pushy as always. And no matter. Here are the options for Kanto Pokemon. Bulbasaur. A grass and poison type. It's very easy to raise, according to Oak. And I'm going to be starting with Bulbasaur, and it's not just because this Charmander is overrated and, and Squirtle really shouldn't... And I like Squirtle, but I'm not a business fan of him. Believe me, you're going to want to start with him. But the second option is Charmander. I should raise it patiently. I'm not getting that one. Um, squirrel may be worth raising, but honestly, I prefer Bulbasaur. It's not just because, as it's a grass type starter and I love po completing the Pokedex in the Oracle order, believe me, you're going to want to start with it. It excels at the first two gyms, whereas Squirtle only handles the first one well. Whereas the, both the first two gyms detriment Charmander a lot. So, this Pokemon's really quite energetic, and here's mine. Now then, I'll take this one then. A Charmander. I should have guessed he would do that. Let's check out my Pokemon. Hasty. I might want to save right now. Alright, let's... Wait, Donnie, let's check out our Pokemon! Come on, I'll take you on! You really want to battle in a lab? 
I guess that's a yes. Alright, bring it on! Go, Bulbasaur! Oh, for Pete's sake, as pushy as always. Donnie, you've never had a Pokemon battle before, have you? I... haven't. Can you, uh, please explain to me what's going on here? Pokemon drought battles when trainers pit their Pokemon against each other. The trainer that makes the other Pokemon faint by lowering their HP to zero wins. But rather than talking about it, you should learn more from experience. Try battling to see for yourself. Alright then, let's start with something simple. Bulbasaur, use Tackle! Reflecting damage on the is the key to any battle. Like that. Now let's try the other thing. Bulbasaur, growl! Let's call it back bell. Lowering the bow's stats will put you at an advantage. Oh yeah, it did less damage. Let's see. It's important to get to know your Pokémon thoroughly. This is the list of your Pokémon now. Open this list to check the skills and moves of your Pokémon. You also choose Pokemon here if you want to use an item on one. That's good to know. Alright, Bulbasaur, use Tackle again! Tackle again! Ooh, a crit! He's even gotten a little stronger from that. Get dunked on, Gary! What? Unbelievable! I picked the wrong Pokémon! No, it just didn't have a move that was strong against mine. Which I'm glad it didn't. Hmm, excellent! If you win, you earn prize money, and your Pokémon will grow. Battle other trainers, and make your Pokémon strong! Okay, I'll take my Pokémon battle to toughen it up. Donnie Gramps, smell you later. Yeah, get out of here, you lunk. I guess I should go too. Ah. Uh, now, it's time for me to head out on a grand adventure. Oh, uh oh. Our is coming out to play, huh? All right. Let's do some training, Bulbasaur. What was that, Bulbasaur? I know you can do better than that. Uh-oh. It's physical defense spell. Use tackle again. Make sure it can't do further damage. It's still not attacking us. Whoa. Oh, this is bad. Crap. Come on. Phew! That was close. Hey, good job, Bulbasaur. You learned Leech Seed. I wonder what that does. First, let's get out of this grass. Let's see. Leech Seed. Seed is planning on the boat to steal some health points for the user on every turn. Oh, this could be useful. Also, what's a shop clerk like you doing out here? Hi, I work at a Pokemon Mart. It's part of a convenient chain selling all sorts of items. Please visit us in Meridian Siri. I know, I'll give you a sample. Here you go. A potion for free? I like you. Please come and see us if you need Pokeballs for catching Pokemon. You know what? I will. But, real quick... I really shouldn't push my Bulbasaur so far. So, here's a potion just for you, little guy. Now then. Uh-oh. 
Another Rattata? Alright, Bulbasaur. This time, don't fail me. Well, you didn't fail me the last time, but... Don't scare me. Alright, one more tap. Come on! One more. There we go. Now we're in Viridian City. There's a Pokemon Center over there in case we need it. Aha! I was right! There is an item here! Alright, let's move on to see the rest of the city. Huh? What's going on here? I absolutely forbid you from going through here! This is private property! Rudeness? Come on, I can sentence to this man! Oh, Grandpa, don't be so mean! I'm so sorry, you. He hasn't had his coffee yet? How petty can you get? Jeez. Oh, ugh. Wrong way. <sighs> My Bulbasaur will probably need some healing, so... Ah, uh, it's nice to see the Pokémon Center for the very first time. Thank you, Nurse Joy. <laughs> You will. Now then. Maybe I should shop for some Pokeballs. Hey, you came from Pellet Town? Yeah, why? You know Professor Oak, right? What about him? His order came in. Can I get you to take it to him? Alright, sure, why not? Okay, thanks. Please say hi to Professor Oak for me, too. Sure. If... If he knows your name, anyway. Let's... Quickly head back to Pallet Town to do this errand. Just because we're such nice kids. We're such nice people. Professor Oak! I have something for you! Oh, Donnie, how's my old Pokémon? Well, it seems to be growing more attached to you. You must be very talented as a Pokémon trainer. Yes, I am! By the way, uh, I went to Meridian City's Pokémon Mart, and the clerk wanted me to give something to you. Here. Ah, it's the custom Pokéball! I had it on order. Thank you! Gramps! I almost forgot what you call me for. Oh, right. I have a request for you two. On the desk here is my invention. The Pokedex. It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. Donnie, Gary, take these with you. Sweet, my own Pokedex. You can't get detailed Pokémon data on Pokémon by just seeing them. You must catch them to obtain complete data. So here are some tools for catching wild Pokémon. Sweet. By the way, in order to do this in the original Red and Blue, you needed to go all the way to the route west of Viridian City to beat Gary, then come back here. If you caught any Pokémon or have any Pokéballs in between, yeah, you're gonna miss out on that. Kinda stupid that they waited until that moment in the original games. But these versions don't have that problem. When a wild Pokemon appears, it's fair game. 
just throw a Pokeball in it and try to catch it. This won't always work, however. The healthy Pokemon can split and escape. You have to be lucky to make a complete guide on all the Pokemon in the world. That was my dream. I'm too old. Can you get the job done? So I want you two ful to fulfill my dream for me. Get moving, you two! This is a great undertaking in Pokemon history! Alright, Gramps, leave it all to me! Donnie, I hate to say it, but you won't be necessary for this. I know, I'll borrow a town map from my sis. I'll tell her not to lend you one to you, Donnie. <laughs> Don't bother coming around to my place after this. You just gave me a the idea. <laughs> Oh, you shouldn't have said anything. I know exactly what to do. Daisy! Professor Oak wants me to complete the Pokedex. Grandpa asked you to run an errand? Gee, that's easy of him. Here, this will help you. Ha! Too easy! You can use the town map to find out wherever you are. Or check the names of places. It's very convenient. Alright guys, in the next episode, we will be heading into the grass and be able to start catching Pokemon. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, check out my Patreon and subscribe star, share the video with your friends, and, and I hope and I'll see you guys 